You see where I'm at? Uh, the uh, internet went out in my house, and so I am in our sanctuary. And um, the pyramids have been set um, behind me, you can see. And uh, it is good to be in this space. It would be better to be in this space with you all and to be able to sing and all that. But this is the Easter season. Easter is not just one day of procl proclaiming that life and love are more powerful than death and hatred. But a whole week of weeks, as we call it, seven more weeks of daring to dance our dances with hope and passion. So let us continue our praise and call to worship. Dare to dance with dreamers, sing their song. Dare to dance their stories, sing out strong. Dare to dance with freedom your whole life long. Dare to dance again. We have two scriptures this morning that I'll be reading to you. Um, from the New Revised Standard ver Version. First, I'm reading from John chapter 20, verses 19 to 22. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And then the disciples rejoiced when they saw it was him. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As God has sent me, so I send you. When he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Reading from the first book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. We declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard. What we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hearts, our hands, concerning the whole life, this life was revealed. And we have seen it and testify to it and declare to you the eternal life that was with the very creator of the universe and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly your fellowship is with both the creator and with Jesus the Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. These things did Thomas count as real, the warmth of blood, the chill of steel, the grain of blood, the heft of stone, the last frail twitch of flesh and bone, the vision of it. Skeptic mind was keen enough to make him blind to any unexpected act too large for his small world of fact. His recent certainties denied that one could live when one had died until his fingers read like braille the markings of the spear and nail the
Dancing. Dancing requires that we pay attention to our dance partners. It requires finding a rhythm together. The Sunday after Easter brings the story of Jesus appearing to the disciples and breathing the Holy Spirit on them. Other scriptures this week will point, point to the power of being together, of finding fellowship in the presence of Jesus and the presence of the community. But what does it take to dance together? Let's shake off the dust that has been gathering underfoot. We have been holed up in our homes. We have been immobilized by, with fear, with dread. We have been holding our breaths. You need to breathe when you dance. But we've been holding our breaths, waiting. Will the worst happen? And for some of us, and at different times for all of us, the worst has happened. There have been times we thought we could not make it another day. And then the Spirit is breathed fresh on us through compassion, through love, through others reaching out to us, or we've reached towards them. God has shared the Holy Spirit with us, and we have shared it with each other. I didn't think we'd make it this long. Honestly, there were times I was really worried. But here we are, and here I am, and it's still standing, and so are we. So let's shake off this dust that's gathered underfoot. Let's lift our heads to meet the day. Let's raise our hands in grateful praise. Let's fortify our hearts with compassion and action. And if the bad days linger, let's open up that umbrella and with determination and hope set out, set out to take that next step forward. For we are all called to this dance of life where we partner with each other, where we partner with God, where the Spirit moves through us, where we may stumble and misstep, but we're here to dance.
As the song recorded by Leanne Womack goes, I hope you never lose your sense of wonder. You get your fill to eat, but always keep that hunger. May you never take one single breath for granted. God forbid love ever leave you empty handed. I hope you feel small when you stand beside the ocean. Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens. Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance. And when you get the choice to sit out or dance, I hope you dance. And, I, and may the loving God, risen Christ, and dancing spirit fill you with all you need for the days ahead. Amen. Mm -hmm.